Remember before when we said that addition reactions with alkenes and elimination reactions with alcohols can be a little more complicated than they first appear? Well, the suspense is built, but the wait is finally over. I now introduce to you major and minor products. Remember the reaction between but-1-ene and acidified water. The H2O is being split up in this addition reaction. Part of it, an H atom, gets added to one carbon, and the remaining part, the OH, gets added to a different carbon atom. The alcohol that we've formed here is butan-1-ol. There is a problem, however, and that problem comes from the fact that there is another possible product, which happens when the OH gets added to the second carbon, and the H gets added to the first carbon like this. This is butan-2-ol. In fact, they're both the correct answer. There are two possible products when this reaction happens. One is the major product, and that's the product that we see getting made more often. And the other is the minor product, and that's the one we don't get as much of. And now for the big question, which is the major and which is the minor product? Well, to answer this question, you need to use a special rule called Markovnikov's rule, which states that the carbon that already had the most hydrogens attached to it will be more likely to get more hydrogens attached to it. We sometimes shorten this rule to the rich get richer. So let's look at the original alkene that we had. The carbon in yellow only has one hydrogen on it, whereas the one in red is lucky enough to have a grand total of two hydrogens clinging on for dear life. The rich carbon, the one that will get the extra hydrogen most of the time, must be the end carbon in red. This means that the major product will be the second product we saw, which was butan-2-ol, and the minor product will be butan-1-ol. In general, you need to know that alkenes plus acidified water react to produce alcohols, both major and minor. What about the reaction of propene and hydrogen bromide? Once again, we have not simply one, but two products that might form when this addition reaction takes place. You can distinguish the major and minor products by looking at the original alkene we've got. Which carbon atom that's double bonded in this molecule is going to be the rich one? It's going to be the yellow number one carbon, because that has two hydrogens attached to it, whereas the red carbon only has a puny one hydrogen. This means that the major product is going to be 2-bromopropane, and the minor product is going to be 1-bromopropane. In general, you need to know that alkenes plus hydrogen halides react to produce haloalkanes, both major and minor. Once you've got that idea under control, let's take a look at the opposite and how major and minor products work in elimination reactions. For example, look at what happens when we eliminate butan-2-ol. Because elimination is the opposite of addition, we use a reverse of Markovnikov's rule, the rich get richer, which is called Seitzef's rule, the poor get poorer. In other words, we look at the carbon atoms on either side of the OH carbon and ask ourselves, which one has fewer hydrogens attached to it? Here, that's going to be the one to the right. Therefore, the double bond is going to form between the OH carbon and that carbon, so that the carbon with the fewest hydrogens ends up with even fewer hydrogens. It gets poorer. So the major product will be but-2-ene, and the minor product will be but-1-ene. To get achieved points, you will often only need to be able to name one of the molecules. But to bring yourself up to merit and excellence, you will want to be able to name and identify the major and minor products. Once you get practicing, these are pretty straightforward merit and excellent points to gain.